My name's Avril. Uh, I'm one of the co-founders of Ding. So Ding is a smart doorbell we've been creating uh, over the past year. When someone comes to your front door, they press your front doorbell button and that makes a chime in your home like a regular doorbell. But it then also extends a voice call to your mobile phone so you can speak with whoever's at the front door, wherever you are in the world. So Ding is made up of two parts. Um, one part is a subtle doorbell button that sits outside your house like a normal doorbell would. And the other part is a fabric covered chime that acts a bit like a speaker and a hub for the button. This connects to your Wi-Fi and allows you to receive calls through an app on your phone so you can talk with the person at your door. The chime can be anywhere in your home. Um, near the centre of your home is best so you can hear it wherever you are. This means if you don't have your phone with you, you can still use it like a normal doorbell. There's also a histogram of when the doorbell button has been pressed. You can also set a quiet time, which will disable the chime through certain hours. So if you've got sleeping babies that you don't want to wake up, it's extremely useful for them. A year and a half ago, we um, found out about an accelerator program called the Design Council Spark. Um, and we entered the idea just on a whim. And so when we applied to the Design Council Spark Fund, we applied just with a text description of the product and then we were accepted. So uh, for us, that meant that the project had some legs and some opportunities. We um, did another accelerator with uh, John Lewis uh, called J-Labs, um, in which we got to uh, generate a real understanding of how the product might retail um, we've also got some really good links with John Lewis as well, which is really nice. The thing that was uh, really beneficial about working with John Lewis was just to start thinking exactly how the product might be framed in a retail context. We can design the product and make the product so that it's fit for our right audience and our right retail audience. And we'd always planned to uh, launch on Kickstarter. We saw this as a really good way to um, test the product. Um, target exactly who we thought our audience was and then learn a lot about what our audience was as well. We launched our campaign after we finished the JLab programme um, and we've been going for three weeks now. It's been really successful. We um, were funded within the first week and we nearly doubled that in the second. So um, it's been really, really good progress so far. There'll be some uh, other stages of development we need to go through. So we'll be refining a lot of the hardware, um, developing a lot of the software that we hadn't had the funds to do so beforehand. Um, and then we'll just be taking that forward and working with our manufacturers to make Ding real.